Hi everyone, welcome back to the Doge Academy and welcome back to introduction to programming using Java. So one thing I remembered the word is balance. Now let's press Shift F6 because we are going to refactor everything that we have checking account value. So checking account balance. So we cannot have special characters and the same for savings account instead of value is savings account balance. Cool. Now, continuing, we are going to see how we can chain more than two conditions. I mean, we have one if else, but what happens if we need like a third if, like in between here? So we have if, and then we would like uh, else if, and then else if, and then else. So what if we have this kind of situation? For example, let's see here, uh, mm, Tax uh, bracket, we did Netherlands, let's do United States. So, tax brackets, United States. Let's see the first link here. Okay, yeah, it's pretty big, but let's use this as one nice example. Imagine that you would like to know, let's say, how much you have to pay for the government based on your salary. So, if your salary is lower than 9950 you have to pay 10% but what if you have between 9951 to 40500 something as you can see these conditions they should be changed so if your salary is this else if your salary is this else if else if else if else if and then, of course, after you don't have any more option, it's just else. But as you can see here, we have more than one possible thing. We have one condition that should be changed to another condition that should be changed to another condition. They should not be evaluated separately. They should be evaluated as one conditional chain. You saw previously that if we have in the condition of 0, 5, if we have if and if, it's not like they are chained. Java is going to evaluate the first if. It doesn't matter if the first if is true or false, it's going to evaluate the second if as well. But in this case, since you are talking about the, the tax brackets here, they should not, if you evaluate, for example, the 12%, it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't need to go through the 22, 24, 32. Why? Because if your salary is in between 9,000 and 40,000, uh, 525 it means that this is what they have to pay 12 percent now if you have one if condition for all of them java will go and check every single one of them even though once one of these is true it will keep checking why because they are ifs so what we have to do here is basically we have to uh, do like a chain of ifs and else ifs to evaluate the same condition so let's take up to 20% and let's ignore the tax old. Let's just see that we are going to pay like 12%. Let's ignore the 995 plus. Okay, so let's go back here and let's create a new Java class. Right click new Java class and then let's call conditionals 07. Okay, same thing. We start with public static void main and we are going to start with the very simple thing that the tax bracket is going to ask you the salary your income now let's create here a float and let's say this is salary or we can just say exactly the same the income because technically you can have salary you can have like part-time jobs from different uh, places so technically it's not on your salary so we have income and let's say that our income is twelve thousand Okay, so 12,000, this is, remember, since we are writing integer here directly into the code, Java understands this as a integer. If this was like a decimal, it would be a double. We would need to add F to force this as a float. Remember the space that we spoke in the beginning of this course. That's required for each one of the types. Okay, so we have 12,000 and then we have the bracket. So we don't need to store the percentage somewhere, we can just apply directly. So let's do the first one. Since this is uh, from zero to 9,950, 
you can just say okay if your income is lower than 9950 we are just going to uh print 10 percent so let's do this so if it's lower so basically if my income is lower actually is lower or equals because 900 950 is included then 900 so don't use a comma here right you are going to get exception and if you use dot is basically 9.55 so it's 9550 so if this is what we need then what we have to do well let's just print here 10 percent so we are going to say hey this is 10 percent and how much is 10 percent we're going to do the math directly here into the println so it will be income and then multiplied by 0 0.1 okay now what if it's not this and here we're going to learn two things one is how to do a change else if and the second one is something that you already did but you are going to do it in a bit different way is that we have to close this condition so let's copy here using the upper send so let's add here so basically if it's lower than 9550 you are going to take uh, 10 percent else if and then it comes this condition so technically if income is greater i don't need to use greater or equals why because technically it uh, it's covered here so i can either say greater than 900 550 or greater or equals 9551 so you have these two options it's up to you so java will understand that 900 uh damn this is difficult let's say 51 it's uh greater and this will not be part of this evaluation so let's uh keep like this then because it's what's written here but we have two conditions the income should be greater than this value and should be lower or equals this value so we have another one and should be income lower or less than less or equals than this this value south is how much 12 percent so 12 percent equals and then i'm going to write here income multiplied by 0 0.12 okay so if we execute this now control shift f10 you are going to see that we have 12 percent but what if i change here for example to 52,000? what do you think it's going to happen if i execute this now you are going to see nothing remember when you have if and else if the condition inside the if is not true definitely for sure for for certainty the else will be executed but that does not hold true when you are using else if so else if is not a closed chain it means that if this is not true and this is also not true nothing is going to be executed how do we solve that we can add an else and then here let's say uh i don't know what to do and of course now since we are closing the chain we are always making sure that one of these conditions will be executed so if this one is not if this one is not definitely this one will be but if you don't have else there is a chance that this will not be executed none of these conditions so you have to be very careful with your if and else condition okay so uh, we have 12 percent if we go back here we can do one more so let's copy this one more here and go back to our software and we are going to do another else if so as you can see you can change as many as else if as you want it does not necessarily mean that it's a good idea or that you should do it but you can do it so we can copy this condition right here you see as developer at some point in time you are going to start copying and pasting your own stuff but i advise you to write them down so right now 
what it should be. So your income should be exactly this. So should be forty thousand five hundred twenty-six, and the income must be lower than eighty-six, eighty-six, three seven five. If you get to this point, how much do you have to pay on the table? You have to pay twenty-two percent. So I have to pay to pay twenty-two percent. We copy this if, and then we add here twenty-two, and here zero point twenty-two. So now that we have this, let's say that okay, this is it, or maybe everything else that's above eighty-six thousand will pay only thirty percent. How do you do it? You do else, and then south. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to say, hey, now I'm going to pay 30%. What else is lower? Everything that's lower than 86 will go into one of these conditions. But everything that's above and doesn't matter how much above it is, 86, 3775 3, 7, will be 30%. So income multiplied by 0 0.30. So now executing Control Shift F10. As you can see, we have here, uh, we have to pay 11,000, but let's uh, increase here, for example, to 152. Control Shift F10. And as you can see, 30% is 45,600. Okay, so basically that's what you need to know for this class. You need to know that we have a way to chain more conditions and the difference when you use if and you use else if is that the else if once one of them is evaluated, the other will not. So let me show you. This is a good idea. Let me put here 12,000 again. And I'm going to add a breakpoint right here. And I'm going to press Shift F9. Okay, so you are going to see it's going to evaluate the first one. Is income lower than 9,000? No, it's 12,000. Then I'm going to press F8. Okay, then is income in between 9,000 and 40,000. Yes, it's 12,000. And you are going to see, if you press F8, that this line will be executed. And then look at this. After here, where we are in the line number 9, look at where it's going to go. Straight to line 15. So basically, we are saying you should evaluate the income as one piece in this chain. So one of them is true, then you just have to ignore all of the rest. Now, let me just show you, you don't have to do it, but look, if I, I, I remove the else, we have one if, we have another if, and technically I'm just going to remove this to explain. So we know that 12,000, right? Now I'm going to execute again, Shift F9. Look, it's going to execute this one. It's true, no, it's false. It's going to execute this one. It's true. Yeah, it's true. But then if I press F8 again, look, instead of finishing the program, no, it's coming to evaluate this one again. So as you can see, if you do not chain them through else if, like we did before, I'm going to press Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. As you can see, if it's not chained with else if, it will evaluate one by one. But we want this to be like one piece in the chain. If one is true, you can ignore all the rest. So basically, that's it. In the next video, let's do a very small exercise to practice a little bit more else if and the logical operator end. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.